Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to see the whole effect sensor. It's here and I got a LED there. When I bring the magnet close to the sensor, it switch on. It doesn't have to touch, even it is more than half a centimeter distance, it's getting detected. There are several different modules available. I got two of them. This one got signal pin and the plus and minus. We connect the signal pin to signal. But this one got DO pin plus G and AO pin. We use the DO pin for the signal pin. The diagram is here. Pin A1 connected via 100 to 500 ohm resistor to longer pin of LED, shorter pin of LED connected to G. For the sensor, minus connected to G, plus connected to 5 volt. Because this, when you go to the data sheet, here, when you go next one, the supply voltage has to be at least 4.5 volt. So we have to connect to 5 volt pin. So I connected to 5 volt pin. And then the signal pin, we have to connect to any 5 volt tolerant pin. I connect to B9. I show you what are the 5 volt tolerant pin. This green one with 5 on it, 5 volt tolerant. These are standard pin with the 3 on it. So these are only 3.3 volt. We should not connect to 5 volt pin. These are 5 volt tolerant. These all 5 volt tolerant except this one. So I am connecting to B9, which is 5 volt tolerant. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click system core. Click sys for the debug. Serial wire. For the pins with the LED is PA1, we make it GPIO output. The sensor pin connected to PB9, we make it GPIO input. That's all. We can click save. In the description below, I have given a website address. When we go there, when we go below this one, uh, here is the uh, data sheet. The diagram is here and the picture is here. Cube ID setting is here. The code is here. It's only few lines of code. We can copy and paste to save time. Copy from if until HL delay 50. And copy it. We go to Cube ID. We go to while loop. Here and we paste it there. Basically what it does is it check for the B9. If it is zero, switch on the LED. Otherwise it switch off the LED. We can click save and use the hammer button to build and see for any errors. Zero errors. Now we can click the green button to run the code. This one. Click the debugger. I use for the probe open OCD. It will work with the original board also for the clone boards. Click show generator option. Go below and for the reset mode, software system reset. Click apply. Click OK. It's uploaded. I have uploaded the code. It works like this. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.